If your family likes hamburger and you know you're going to use a lot of it, when it's on sale, buy 10 or 20 or 30 pounds of it. It sounds silly, but it's going to save you money. Now, when you get home, there are a few things you can do that are going to save you time. Make up your hamburger patties. Do five or ten pounds of it, wrap them, put them in the freezer, then you can just pull them right out. They're already done. Take part of the hamburger meat and divide it, and go ahead and brown five or ten pounds of it. Put it in a plastic bag and say pound or two portions, pop it in the freezer. And this is going to save you time, because sometimes when you're in a hurry to fix dinner, you pull out the hamburger, it's already been browned, you add your green peppers, your onions, your spaghetti sauce, and dinner's half done. What I really like about this is that you're recycling. What you're going to do is use the plastic lids that come on margarine tubs and coffee cans and things like that. Or if you want to make a big hamburger patty, use the larger size lid. Now, it's very simple to do. After you've divided up the hamburger meat into the portion that you want, a lot of people don't like to handle hamburger meat. So all you do is slip your hand in a plastic bag, put the hamburger meat on like that, then you take another lid, place it on top, and simply press and squish it around. Now another easy way to do this is to use an ice cream scoop. You just scoop up the hamburger meat, put it on there, and press the release. Now if you have enough of these, go ahead and make them up like this, stack one on top of the other, wrap it, and put it in the freezer. If not, all you have to do is peel it off, wrap that, and there's your hamburger patty. How many times have you grilled hamburgers for a large group of people and the people that want theirs well done are standing there watching the grill and watching the hamburgers cook while everybody else is eating? Well, I'm going to show you how to avoid the problem. Save yourself some time and make all your hamburger patties up ahead of time. Then before you grill them, those that want them well done, you poke a hole in the center. It's like making a donut hole, but this is a hamburger hole. Then when you grill this, the inside cooks the same time as the outside does, plus the hamburger patty will cook faster. Now, for those people that want theirs rare, you take a small ice cube, kind of poke it in the center, and form the hamburger around it. Then when you put this on the grill, the ice slowly melts, and it keeps the inside of the hamburger nice and rare. And this is really nifty, because then you can grill, at the same time, those hamburger patties that you want rare, and those that you want well done, and everybody can eat at the same time. Most everyone loves meatloaf, but not everybody likes to make meatloaf because your hands get all dirty. Well, let me show you how to make it and keep your hands nice and clean. All you have to do is use a plastic bag. Now, use one of the bags that you bring fruit or vegetables home from the grocery store because you're going to throw this away. Put the hamburger meat in, your bread, your egg, your onions, green pepper, whatever you put in meatloaf. Then all you do is squish like this and it mixes it all up and your hands don't get dirty. This is a great way to get the kids involved in fixing dinner because they just love to do this. Once it's mixed well, plop it out and form your loaf. Now meat loaf may be traditional, but the shape doesn't have to be. If you want to, you can make four or five little individual loaves or put them in a muffin tin like this, and they cook quicker, too. And if you do make the traditional shaped meat loaf and you're putting it in the pan, before you put it in this pan, put a slice or two of bread on the bottom, and when the meat loaf cooks, the bread absorbs all the grease. 